So according to the New York Post, one Gitmo detainee may be released because he took up yoga and read about the Dalai Lama. Another may get sprung due to his positive attitude, which raises the question, is there a level below amateurish? Because I think the White House unearthed it. They should name it after Obama. I mean, here's a man who treats foreign policy like it's open mic night at the Funny Bone. In a mad dash to evacuate a prison to appease their left-wing overlords, the White House has become a gullible co-ed, tricked into bed by coffeehouse lowlifes, bursting with sensitivity. OMG, he does yoga. He's into peace. He can't be a terrorist. His poetry is so dreamy. I love his goatee. I'd say the White House is naive, but you can't fool the willing. Obama wants to close Gitmo and will buy any excuse. Why not just say it's haunted? It worked on Scooby-Doo. Fact is, your average mom would make a better leader. She definitely wouldn't buy this yoga crock, since her job is to warn daughters of smooth talkers who spew such sweet deception. But this is the president who thinks climate change is a bigger security threat than releasing terrorists like butterflies at a wedding. But hey, I may be wrong. Yoga could be a sign of redemption. After all, it's hard to blow up a building when you're doing a downward-facing dog. Sadly, that's one position Obama has put us all in. Oh, oh my God. Sometimes a picture's worth a thousand words, wow. Jesse. I really don't know where to go from there. That was one of your finest monologues, I think. I'm just happy to be here.